Hey everybody, so typically on May 4th LEGO releases some sets and there's one set in particular that I am not happy with. I will not be investing in it. I do not think anyone should invest in it, but obviously this is not financial advice. If you find a way to make money on this, by all means, that is entirely your decision. But this set is just an overproduced set and I think we're starting to see the fatigue in it. And a lot of people get deceived because they look at previous sets and they'll think they'll do the same. However, those sets that they're looking at are older sets that weren't mass produced, that weren't really in investing time. So of course they're gonna be worth a lot more money. So let's take a look at that set. So this is the X-Wing Starfighter, the UCS version. So it's $239. And right off the bat, I'm kind of just disappointed in general with the set because it's a UCS, but it's a small set. I think they should have went in the 350 range and made it bigger, but I think they did this on purpose. So for 239, a lot of people will purchase it thinking it's a great investment. And then later down the line, they'll probably re release a $600 X-Wing Starfighter. And this is what LEGO does to kind of continue to make money. They hit the secondary market because they know things are selling there. And that's something you need to be aware of as an investor. So let's take a quick look at previous sets. So if you check out Brick Economy and just type in X-Wing, you'll see there's 34 previous sets. There might be more that aren't included, but just this is the easiest way to see it. So there's been 34 releases of X-Wings. That should tell you right off the bat that these are not great investments. You might be able to make money on them, any new ones, but I highly doubt it. You, you, the time probably isn't worth the money. So all the older sets, you know, probably prior to 2016, all, all have made money. They've done extremely well, but that's understandable because that was a different time. People, that was pre-COVID time. People weren't investing hardcore in Lego and it's, it, there's just less sets. So of course the older X-Wings are going to be worth money. Like for example, in 2006, I mean, this is an old set for $50 worth 130. That's a decent profit. But when we get into newer sets, you're going to probably see like a 10 to $20 profit. You're not going to see double the price. I, I, I doubt any newer X-Wing sets will be double unless they come out with an extremely unique one. I, I just, I think it, I think X-Wings are a terrible decision. It's kind of like Pokemon cards or Magic cards where you have the common and uncommon. They're just mass produced. They're worth nothing. They're just there for show. This is one of their core Lego items, kind of like the Millennium Falcon, which I'm still debating on whether that will be a good investment. If, if I could get it for about $100, I probably might invest in it. I'll make a video on that. But regardless, there, there's a few Lego sets that Lego just mass produces. It's their core item. And this is one of them. And you need to be aware that Lego will continue to produce X-Wing fighters. And I guarantee they'll make a bigger UCS down the line. And I think that they did this on purpose to make it 239, a smaller one, then release a bigger one. And this is what just Lego continues to do. And you need to be aware of that as an investor. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. You know, like I said, if you could figure out a way to get cheaper, maybe a clearance item, you could still make money on these, but I doubt it normal investing. I doubt it's going to be worth it. So please comment down below. Thanks for watching. As always have fun, do your own research, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.